<laughs> a man milks his own tit into a baby's mouth. Hello and welcome to YouTuber Movies. On today's show, we've got Curtis. What? Fucking Ray Mysterio in this shit. He's my younger brother, and he knows YouTube better than us, apparently. Damn diddly right, I'm a millennial. He's going to show us some films that YouTubers have made for us to comment on and then review at the end. Is there more shit like this out there? YouTuber yeah, films, there's more YouTuber films, yeah. There's like 12 in total. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> I don't know if I got this. I mean, if you don't got this, then who got this? Oh, I guess I'm gonna need to get this. Oh, this best one gets got it. We Mode, which stars famous YouTuber Logan Paul. 23.2 million subscribers oh. this man has currently. What have we got? To not to, that. Uh, famous YouTuber Logan Paul boards a plane full of YouTubers on their way to a mass social media convention. Do you possess them any explosives? Nope. Just this bomb ass <laughs> <laughs> He's hoping to kill two birds with one stone and also meet his long-term internet girlfriend who lives in Australia. Oh, romantic. Exciting. Due to YouTubers being so self-centered, none of them turn off their phones. Hey, f*** that! I'd rather die than turn my off! I'd rather die so you kill me, my f This causes the plane to malfunction, the pilots get electrocuted, and a famous YouTuber prankster starts killing people on board. Can Logan Paul save the day? Will his bro finally have sex? Does this story even matter? Bada bing, bada boom, it's airplane mode. Wow, look at all this leg room. It's crazy. <laughs> I can't even reach my tray table. <laughs> it is a series yeah. of sketches, all of which are increasingly nonsensical. Some of them are mm. genuinely funny. Next. What was that? There you go. Wow. Others are just yeah. weird. Someday, all of this will be yours. <sighs> So we'll talk through the sections of the characters. We're going to take it in terms, although I feel that Curtis probably hasn't done the work needed. So we'll... Lots of work done. Curtis is first one. You're doing Logan, Paul and Jenna. Go. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, what do you want? What do you want? Tell me. What do you want to know? <laughs> <laughs> did you not, did, failed did you on the first sentence. Yeah. Logan Paul is... He's a top character. What do you, what do you need to know? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no. he's, he's starting off. He's starting off in a Zoom call with his get Australian girlfriend. Don't just recount the Yeah, film we don't to need us. to recount What the do you want? <laughs> <laughs> Logan Paul plays a naive, dumb, romantically soppy. I mean, he says cheesy a lot. Couldn't have done it without my co-pilot. What did I tell you about being cheesy? <laughs> to stop, be cheesy. Yeah, definitely stop. But he's kind of likable in this. He, he it, is. I'll give him. I'll give him credit. How can you love someone you've never actually met? She's funny. She's got a great sense of humor. I know it's cheesy, but bro, I could make you snort in two seconds. When he's having scenes with Jenna, who's played by Chloe Bridges, she's not a YouTuber, as far as I'm aware. Yeah, I've never heard of her. He's never so, heard of her. So she's not a thing. It. She's nothing. Take someone creative. Take someone original. Got to make a good joke to make me laugh. <laughs> Does this mean that you love me? They're kind of the love story. He, she comes onto the plane, catches him looking at a naked picture of his mother. Good joke. Oh, shit. Oh! Are you looking at naked pictures on your phone? No! Yeah, 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 you are. Uh, yeah, I was, but it's my mom. You're staring at a naked photo of your mom? Their moments together is probably some of the best writing in... If you want to, like, legit uh, yeah. writing. If we want to say yeah, legit yeah, writing, yeah. it's probably the nicest writing. And that's how I lost 15% of my right testicle. Yep, a dwarf in a Godzilla costume. Can you imagine? I don't have to imagine. You just told me every last detail. And I hate to bring it up. It is definitely a better love story. <laughs> Then what? Then what? <laughs> no, uh, no, Tom. It uh, is. It's a better love story than Ray and Kylo. Can't you compare yeah. things like Romeo and Juliet? 
No, Use because, that as no, because it's not as good as that. No, it's not <laughs> as good as that, but it's, you know. The therapist said he needs to work through this stuff, so if he needs to work through it... Does he have to work through it with us? Though? Yes, I do. Specifically you. Thanks for pepping me up earlier. You know, it may not have seemed like much, but it really helped. Yeah, yeah, no problem, Logan. All right, I'm going to try to get some sleep and hopefully not dream of Dorsilla. <laughs> or swollen balls. He commits to this. There is a scene where the two co-pilots are dead and they both have terrible makeup and phlegm coming out um. of their mouths. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, Jesus. My God. That's dedication. Oh, oh no. Oh. I'm going to have a cigarette. He's got this huge fear of flying. That's his story. It comes from when he was a child and he's climbed a tree and he wants to fly out of the tree. Oh, shit. Logan. How bad is it? You broke your femurs. Oh. Oh my god. What? <laughs> Very tenuous link to fear of flying. That's the dumbest story I've ever heard. When they're trying to land, uh, Logan and Jenna are obviously panicking. How would two YouTubers land a plane that don't know how? YouTube. There's this little boy who's called Connor, and he's like, here's how we land a plane. It's easy. All you have to do is pay attention and watch your stupid video. Leave me alone, Becky. Fuck you, Becky. It was a nice little touch, the fact that they use YouTube. And it, yeah, yeah, it, and it, then I, kind of, yeah, I, I do, also I quite like that bit. thought it was quite funny as well that there's an advert at the start of the video. Yeah, yeah. you can't skip. It will give you the best poop of your life, guaranteed. That was a massive complaint um, for YouTube a while ago. And I don't think it's the case anymore. Oh. I think they've solved it. But people were saying, stop putting adverts on like CPR videos oh, or yeah, Heimlich yeah, Maneuver yeah. videos. And then at the end of the film, they have quite a nice payoff with the uh, Connor situation. No one's going to watch your stupid videos, Connor. Ah! Logan Paul! You're a fucking hero, oh, Connor. Shut up, Becky! I have less on these because this was Curtis's one to do. <laughs> They were just building the relationship, innit? I think you're going to be doing all of it, Thomas. She didn't be jerking off in the middle of the day with her door locked and all your friends downstairs. Now, do you have almond milk or not? But the brother is hes the worst part of the film. He's, he's shocking, like... Who plays him? What's his it's name? Fucking no idea. I've never even seen him on YouTube. Juan Pasarita, who's got 10.8 million subscribers. He plays uh, Logan Paul's stepbrother. He's one of the worst actors in it. He is terrible. quite irritating. He doesn't want to be a virgin anymore. I need to put my seed into a woman's vagina. It's a tale as old as time. It is, but he's <laughs> quite an obnoxious tale in this. It just comes across as a horny little rat. That's Which trying to get his end away. <laughs> what about your real brother, Jake? Oh, <laughs> Disney got him. He wasn't supposed to be here. It was supposed to be Jake Paul. Hold on, you don't know definitely. that though. A hundred percent. He definitely he 100% got all knows it. A hundred percent. Come at me, I can tell you. A hundred and ten percent. What's your sources? My sources. Yeah. I've I mentioned it earlier, it. and he's now decided he knows it. My heart, I know it. I do know it. Okay, so it's starting to crack a little bit now. <laughs> We've gone from 100% true, 110% true. I hate that expression as well. Yeah, also, you can only have can 100%. Only have 100%. Once if it's at 200. It can't be. It's well, still 100%. Percent is per 100. You can only have 100 <laughs> out of 100. Let's not. It's got me, Tom, it's got me. Someone in this room, Tom, said earlier... Do you think that that was written for Jake Paul, but he couldn't no, do it because he's no. signed to Disney? And then Curtis said, yes, fact. Yeah, because I <laughs> fucking know it's fact. And all of a sudden, <laughs> that was it. This boy speaks just... mad facts. He does not lie. Wapa, you made it. They searched my cavities, man. I've never been to a dentist like this before. All right, that's part of the problem with the film is that everyone is crazy by the end. It of overdoes it. the Yeah, silly. There's no it straight man. It starts as Jenna. Uh, I don't have social media. What do you mean when you say that? She's like mine and Chris's window into this movie, <laughs> yeah, into yeah. this world. Hey, you can do this. Don't be a little bitch, right? But then later on, she becomes a bit more like over the top. Gotta get it while the going's good. Oh, the going's good, and I'm gonna get it while the going's oh, good. You got to get it. But when they do that whole, uh, you go and get it. Yeah. Oh, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. That it just goes on way too long, that's and that's it's, it's even the fact that it's there at all. Nick. Swardson, who plays Esteban. Who do you think you are? Walking around drunk around this plane, losing babies. You smell like Jack Daniels' dick. 
and Michaela Hoover. But you're so cute. Yes, you are. We're going to find you a new daddy. Yes, we are with way more money. This is kind of the weirdest sketch of them all. You want some milk? I got two of these motherfuckers right here. So Esteban randomly spots Michaela's uh, child. Is that a puppy? Is that a puppy? To be fair to it, it not only is a skit about a man who steals a woman's baby, it's a skit about a man who steals a woman's baby, then breastfeeds the baby, then convinces the woman <laughs> who's lost the baby that this isn't her baby, and then tries to give her a pot of his own semen. It's around so about those points where you start thinking, I'm wondering if this has gone a little too oh far. Oh, yeah, they, I think the initial joke every, is quite every funny. Every single joke in this movie is pushed beyond the limit yeah. at which yeah, it would I remain mean, funny, and it just becomes Logging a dead horse. There's a point where it pushes, and it pushes pushes and you go this is the point where it should stop but because it pushes and pushes sometimes you just go i'm back again because it's gone so weird at the end of this she comes out and she goes over and says i can't find my child so i've looked everywhere and i can't find him oh, i think it's safe to say that your baby's gone <laughs> But before we nearly died out there, I spunked into this little capsule and I'm going to give it to you so you can create a new baby. I had one split second to ejaculate into this Tupperware so I could let my seed live on, put it in your vagina, make a new baby. And you're like, oh, that's messed up. And you're <laughs> like, oh, this is a bit now weird. But then she then goes, yeah, but it doesn't solve my old baby problems. This is a brand new baby. You ungrateful? Oh. It's going back into my penis. I can feel it. I'm getting out so empty. I'm getting hard. <laughs> no, that's my favorite line, Dave. And it's like, yeah, that's where I wanted this joke to end. It's funny, but I feel a bit dirty about it. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, it's like, hard, yeah. They are so committed mm. to yeah, just yeah. pushing it to a point where it's like, I can't even believe this got yeah. released mm. like, yeah. or was oh, there allowed in the cut. I, I like admire that. that commitment to it. I also, it, it's too uncomfortable. Like, it's funny, but it is just too... It, I don't like it. Stephen Garino. Amber alert. Somebody's missing a sense of humor. <gasps> Down in the luggage. Amber alert was my drag name. <laughs> <laughs> he plays Bruce, who is the stereotypical gay cabin attendant. Oh, one of my favorites, actually. He's a three-time Emmy-nominated actor. One of his funniest things, I think, is he's doing the cabin uh, crew, you know, the safety thing, the safety mm -hmm. video. He's spotted... Logan Paul, and he's like, this guy's hunky. I'm gonna ride you like a pogo stick and fill you up like you forgot to say when. I'm gonna fist you at the Four Seasons pool in broad daylight. I can hear you. <laughs> do they explain why he can hear his thoughts? Uh, yeah, they oh. do a really terrible sixth sense based joke. Right. Something's wrong with the oxygen. How do you know? I hear gay people. Oh yeah, we'll just throw in some gay jokes or we'll throw in some jokes about... Uh, they, they refer to two Chinese people as Jackie oh, Chan Jackie and Chan. something else. Yes. And it's just like, it doesn't but need those kind of jokes. Yakuza, did you see anything? Hmm? Jackie Chan. Jackie, you, you see anything? Vitaly Zdorsky. <laughs> Nailed it. Nailed yeah, it. Don't I mean, look. <laughs> He's got 10.1 million I think he uh, jumped on followers. like the World Cup finals pitch. He's and done some really and crazy and stuff as well. Isn't yeah, he? he's dressed up as like a hit man. Like and nearly like got shot kind of stuff. He wants to complete his master prank, which is killing all of the YouTubers on board so that there is no convention because that's a prank to all the people turning up for it. And then with all of their social medias gone, he will become the biggest YouTuber. I like don't the think that's how, like, the transference of subscribers. That's 100% how it happens. It's the only one on the... It's ropey logic, but you can uh, kind of excuse it. <laughs> yeah, it this. would be ropey logic if it, if it was the linchpin that held together, <laughs> yeah. like, this fucking epic tale. But as a, as a I mean, moment in this movie, it's not really one that you can sort of, you know... <laughs> Wait! You've been pranked! Look closely. All these people are acting. See? 
Look at this guy. Hello. I'm okay. You have been pranked. He's really fun. He does look menacing. I'll give him he, that. He, he looks he menacing. Looks... Yeah, and his fight with, with Logan fun? Paul is pretty good. over the top. Yeah, the fight's quite good. <laughs> Chris Wilde plays the co-pilot P. Ness. This is your Captain Thrustle with co-pilot P. Ness. First of all, it's pronounced penis. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> go by go pilot penis and, penis and Eric Griffin as his co-pilot Chuthle. Thank you for choosing Koala Air. We know well, you, you have, have many problem. choices in air travel and we are always surprised when you choose us. These two are hilarious. They're not in it for long enough. Oh shit, we're going the wrong way. Oh my goodness, I believe we are going in the wrong direction. We so gotta flip a bitch. We will now flip a bitch, the aviation term for turning the plane around. Yeah. And maybe it was funny because it was a small sh section of it. Uh, yeah. Um, and maybe the penis joke would run dry. Yeah. <laughs> Don't be so fucking naive, please! My name is Penis! The Directors. David Dinetz and Dylan Trussell. David has only done short stuff before. He actually did Korn's Spike in My Veins video, music video. Okay. I watched it, thought it was a bit naff. Dylan Trussell directed Robbie Williams' Losers video, which you might not know the song so well, but it's the one where he goes on chat roulette and talk and sings his song to people on chat roulette. Oh, it rings a bell, yeah. It's a really basic video. I was about to say. Like, it's a clever it's idea. Quite, it's a good it's idea. A it's a good idea. Like, yeah, yeah. If, if that's his idea, then fantastic. But it's, yeah, uh, you can't get, you can't gain anything out of the director from, from that. Neither have directed since this film. That's a shame. There's no information on budget whatsoever and obviously i have no information on numbers because as far as i'm aware it was released on netflix and they yeah, don't do. tell you nothing do do numbers we ain't gotta tell you shit a lot of comparisons to airplane obviously um I mean, the fucking poster jesus age you can compare them and say they are comedies based on a plane but and that's they are, about the end of it they really. are different types of comedies the, yeah, the airplane mode definitely riffs on elements of the story and directly lifts jokes from the original airplane mm. movie but i don't think they're trying to emulate the clever work done in airplane no they're just, like they're, just they're just using the premise yeah and some of the funnier sight gags interesting to know the cockpit that they use in this actually is the one from airplane as well like skip or me i don't think it's slick enough i don't think it's streamlined enough it's goes on too long in points Juvenile humour can only take you so far um, if there's nothing really there. There are some genuinely laugh out loud funny scenes and sketches, but no, it's just a middling, a middling nothing. I skipped the vid. It's getting a dislike. It's getting a dislike. Okay. If you, yeah, I'll grant you it has funny bits in it, mm. but if you want to watch a funny film set on an airplane, <laughs> then watch Airplane. True. It's not as funny, it's not as clever, and there's nothing new or original enough about what they've done to make me say, oh, you should watch both. There are funny bits in it, but I would watch those funny bits as clips on YouTube. I wouldn't watch <laughs> this as a film. No. So therefore, it's a dislike. Watch Airplane. It's getting a like from me. Good, good. I found it very funny. It's, it's not smart. It's not the original Airplane. I don't think I'll ever watch it again. However, if someone had it on, I'd I'd walk over to the TV and go, oh, this bit's really funny. If you like juvenile humour and you're going to switch your brain off and you're okay with that, go for it. If you're not, you're going to hate it. I'm obviously giving it a big thumbs up. <laughs> I loved it. It was, I, look, I've never watched Aeroplane before. Uh, not going to because I'm not old, so I'm not going to go watch that. I thought it was funny. I laughed at it the whole way. They weren't just throwaway jokes. They weren't just like shoved in there to be like, ah, oh, this is just a funny joke. Like they had some sort of consequence later or they were linked the to another backs. joke later. Yeah, they, yeah, they were always linked in some way. But no, I liked it. I thought it was a good time. I thought it was a good laugh. So uh, yeah, definitely, definitely giving it a like. So airplane mode gets two thumbs up, a meh, and a dislike. If you've got this far, like it, subscribe to it, get more, shove something up your bazooka.